was actually surprised to see some snow on the ground, although it is cold today for whatever reason. And what's going on today? Seems like there was some interesting stuff I read. How about this first one? More, I guess, about people using drones for military purposes, but this one makes it sound like China's going to try to train a lot of operators per se. This one says liftoff. PLA ground force puts pro-drone operator hopefuls to the combat test. The branch of the Chinese military is standardizing training and testing for its UAV corps as the devices become core equipment. Applicants must master theoretical and practical components and respond to real-life conditions. China's military aims to expand the use of unmanned aerial vehicles in its ranks, rolling out former qualifications for quote professional combat drone operators among its ground forces, according to state media. The PLA Daily reported on Thursday that after two years of trials, the People's Liberation Army Ground Force would introduce a set of drone operator courses this year. The certification system was meant to foster faster creation of combat capabilities in new realms and new forms. An officer with the Ground Force's Chief of Staff Department was quoted as saying the subjects closely align with the actual combat scenario, it is not just a simple assessment of flight control operations, but a test of the core professional skills of a drone operator, he said. Will that be the case? I know in terms of things like drone certification for recreational and commercial nowadays for the common person, it doesn't really teach you much in terms of practicality of flying. It's more about memorization of all this stuff that's meant for manned aviation, in my opinion. It says the new certification system marks the ground force's first move to standardize training and assessment of its drone operators and has practical and theoretical components. Applicants must first take a number of online courses and pass a theory exam and then complete a certain amount of hours of flight practice on drones with their units. I'm actually curious what they mean by drones because I would assume they would be using things that are let's just say I don't know Mavic or Phantom size inspire but when people say military I'm thinking of things like predator drones for example which is completely different but either way I guess more people trying to get ahead of the game making themselves I guess the quote authority of drone hardware and I guess you could say quote pilots and this was kind of interesting as at first I guess when you're reading this you would think the Vancouver police are just launching some kind of investigation but apparently there's more to it where a lot of people are calling for people in the Vancouver police to be fired I guess. This one here they write, We have launched an investigation into an incident that occurred at yesterday's trans rights rally at Grandview Park. We support everyone's right to peacefully assemble and protest but we will also hold people accountable for acts of violence and criminal behavior. So it seems like they posted pictures and videos of the incident where there's a person with a sign from what I gather, I guess it sounds like he's against things, for example, such as kids going through maybe things like surgery or taking drugs to transition per se. And then there's a person who's for trans is basically getting right up to the person's face. Now you can see in the video at first they post it, it seemed like the trans person I guess starts what, putting his hand on the guy's throat and all that and it gets into this little altercation and then there's another one. So it was actually kind of interesting trying to look at this in detail for who recorded it and all that because from the looks of it, it seems like the guy that has the sign gets, I guess, approached by all these people and like this guy in particular, the person who is for the trans rights, he keeps going up to him and swearing at him right in front of his face over and over again and you can kind of see the police officers in the background they're actually not doing anything it seems like which is kind of odd considering how close the guy is getting up to his face now here's kind of the interesting part because depending on what side you're on you'll say oh is this guy's fault is that guy's fault when you look at it closely since all those guys were around him the guy yelling the f word non-stop the person who is for the trans right and all that it seemed like he got so close that his jacket or part of it actually touched the guy with the sign that's what it seems like anyways when he was turning around and all that and so it seems like i guess the guy with the sign put his hand i guess on him to say like hey back off like that type of thing and then once he did that i guess the person 
decided, okay, that's it. You quote, like touched me with your hands and so forth. So then it got all crazy. So there's a controversy there, depending on what side you're on, you can say, oh, this guy touched that guy first and all that. But I guess one thing I would wonder is, how do you get that close to the guy? Like nonstop, like using F-bombs and so forth and all the police are just kind of standing there. Now that basically goes into the most controversial part of all this because it seemed like there was this female officer, she was kind of like smiling at the whole situation it seems like. And when she was confronted about that, she kind of had this weird version of events. Maybe that's the case, like something happened before, but she's claiming the guy with the sign was yelling at I guess the trans activists. That didn't seem to be the case. So there's huge controversy over this right now. So you can kind of see too, like in the video. Excuse me, did you just say he came here to incite violence by forcing his opinion on people? You think he came here to incite violence because they got offended by his sign? When you what talk is to wrong someone with you? and scream at someone and he put didn't your scream face... at all. Yes, he, he didn't. Did. They put their face in his face. What yes. is wrong with okay. you? Okay. So you're saying the guy who How on earth did you become a police officer? Now, with that, again, people were saying they should be investigated. The police, that lady should be fired. For example, this guy here writes to Deputy Chow. It says should be embarrassed by her conduct, her sneering and smugness, standing there with her hands in her pocket, not carrying herself like a police officer should. And then he responds, which might not actually be good when you think about this, it says, well, what I am embarrassed and appalled about are the vile and abusive comments this officer and other officers have had to endure on Twitter. This is not okay. The incident is being investigated. And then even more people following up, like this guy saying what? Oh, so sorry to hurt their feelings. Perhaps your officers should do their jobs next time, do better. Overall, with all the videos and stuff I've seen so far, unfortunately, it does seem like the police officer was kind of biased in that like giggling way too, like kind of watching the situation. You can see again, when the situation started, it looked like she went back versus a lot of natural reaction. It seems like the other officers had was to actually approach it. Like, oh no, what's going on? We got to stop this. It kind of gives me the feeling just with the facial expression. It's almost like people watching a boxing match or a wrestling match where they see other get hit and they get kind of excited over. That's my impression anyways, from what I've seen. Now, the other side of the argument I've heard was the reason why the police didn't arrest anybody there is because that would have aggravated the situation even more. But I don't know if you can say that is justified with what I saw there anyways, based on the videos. But again, what would you think? And just in general too, if someone goes right up to your face like that, cussing non-stop like a broken record, is that really considered, let's just say from a technical standpoint, well, the person quote, didn't touch you, so everything is okay. I would imagine when someone's that close, for example, again, constantly swearing at you, that would constitute as something saying like, hey, you entered into their space, correct? Or no, do they literally have to touch you where all the technicality will come out now? Do you think, the guy's jacket touching him would be first, the guy putting his hands on him would be first, the guy actually almost like trying to choke him or whatever, that would be first. It's a huge mess at this moment, huh?
See you guys later.